Hi guys, welcome to Snake Nook. I'm Vanny and with me I have Tempest. He's my four-year-old normal royal. He's hanging out with me. He's my co-host for this intro and outro. And the topic of today's video is my python moves like a colubrid. Yes. So Atlas, my water python, got a bit of an outing today and he was on the cat tree and all of his movements remind me of colubrid movements. He is fast and sleek and he is busy. So I'm gonna take you along so you can see this little boy in action, enjoying some time on the cat tree. Stay tuned. So this is Atlas, he is my Australian water python. He's a year old or so, and I've had him for several months now, and he's absolutely one of my favorite snakes to interact with and handle. He is amazing. He was a bit rough at the beginning. He was um, actually quite unhandleable. <laughs> my husband and I tagged team for that conditioning to handling process, and he's amazing now. So we're, we're definitely uh, having lots of fun interaction these days, and I'm just enjoying this little guy as a pet snake. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm sure you're gonna catch some of that beautiful iridescence if you pay close attention. Now, one thing about my phone is that it doesn't always pick up the colors the way that it should which is kind of upsetting because in real time I can see like these deep rich colors when I am taking footage of my snakes but then I look at the videos later on and it, the color is off it's just like not quite right so hmm but anyway trust me this guy is absolutely beautiful when he when I first got him he was about four going on five months old I think and he was darker the the color was like it was like a really deep rich brown it didn't really have any olive tones in it and now with each shed he's just developed this so beautiful just very very beautiful olive tone under this like really nice brown and absolute gorgeous iridescence. I apologize I apologize for all this shadowing that's going on here. <laughs> Trying to get close-ups of him and like he's he's moving everywhere. So he is um definitely quite active. He does remind me of of a busy colubrid. He really does. He loves exploring and checking things out and uh he's you know, he's quite assertive and active so yes definitely reminds me of a colubrid i'm surprised that i don't see more australian water python uh, videos about pet snakes um, here on youtube i wish there was more content i think i've scoured youtube for australian water python content is to see them as pet snakes i haven't found a lot of content so I'm making this video to help you guys out if you're considering an Australian water python. So Atlas is an Australian water python. Lysis fuscus is the uh, scientific name. That's what we started with in 1873. And then it kind of changed a few times. It at one point was Nardoa crassa. And then in about 1935, it was Lysis fuscus fuscus. Then fast forward about 50 years, it was known as Lisa Lea Fuscas. And then shortly thereafter, Lisa Lea Fusca. And <laughs> then a handful of years later, it was Morelia Fusca. But then shortly thereafter, it was decided that it would be Lysis Fuscas. And that's what we've stuck with now for like 30 years or something like that. So that's good. Um, so here is little atlas he's been hanging out with me and he's been back and forth on this cat tree um so yeah he's been a busy little fellow now what i like about these guys is that i am not projecting him to get really large so he being a male i can expect him to to be about six feet in length um or about maybe two meters or so but females can certainly get larger they can certainly reach um, lengths of up to eight feet or so so i think that atlas will be about six feet in length so that's you know it's pretty pretty good size medium to large size snake right there and um 
and they're really really good and surprisingly guys in their natural habitat they are not always found in water sources like they do live near water sources but they're not always found in water sources so it it uh it, it's it's interesting that they are called a water python because yes they do they they will be near water sources and they do go into those water sources um but they do like to also hang out outside water and they have been found considerable distances away from water so they are very mobile snakes of course and they do seek shelter in hollow logs and i guess within vegetation and they do stay close to water sometimes because in that way that allows them a quick escape if needed but this is certainly a very interesting snake to keep as a pet not very common if you are thinking about getting yourself an australian water python i do recommend that you provide for your water python an additional water source uh, to the drinking bowl so there should be another maybe like a small pool, some, something like that, that you provide within its enclosure so that it has that option to go in there and take a bit of a swim. And while the Australian water python is not difficult to find if you're looking to purchase one, you don't have very many options. So your options will be limited when you are looking for one of these as a pet snake. Well, um, Atlas has been just a really, really nice snake to have. And, and you know, something that surprised me about this water python is that I expected him to be quite a voracious eater like my boas. For some reason, I just thought he would be. But he's actually one of my more mild-mannered snakes when it comes to feeding time. He will take his feeder, but it, it's not like a crazy feeding response, which is just very surprising to me. I think I, I expected him to be quite the voracious, ravenous eater. And um, he's, he's more gentle than most of my other snakes. So that's quite interesting. Um, yeah, at, at the dinner table, he certainly, he's got his manners in place. <laughs> Riverine, the inland carpet python makes a cameo appearance. Well, there you have it, guys. A fast moving python, Atlas moving like a colubrid. And Tempest and I would like to thank you so much for staying with us to the end of the video. We certainly appreciate your company. And guys, if you're thinking about getting yourself a pet snake that's a little on the rare side, not one that you hear about often or see often, try considering an Australian water python and get a little bit of research done before you purchase one. But so far, my little Atlas has been an absolute joy to have and work with. We hope to see you here again next time. Y'all have a good one. Bye.